Shuck one. <clears throat> First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory now to two to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad Bashem, or Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, while I can walk off, and I say Shalom. In the heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh, and his only begotten Son, Bahashem, in the name of Mashiach, Yahweh Shad. For those out there, true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the whole tongue. And much love and respect to the uh, elders, while I can walk off, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring up of this recent news article. Especially with the uh, rising tensions that's taking place over there in Western Asia, especially over there in the Red Sea. And this is a uh, news article from uh, NBC, uh, Natasha Torek, if I pronounce her name fully right. That's a Tuesday, February the 20th, 2024 at 9.56 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it reads, it says the Middle East, which is, is really Western Asia, escalating fears by as Houthis launched most damaging attack yet the crew of the british owned carrier nv ruby ma ruby ma was forced to abandon ship in the gulf of aden after two anti-ship ballistic missiles was launched from the houthi control areas of yemen according to the u.s central command meanwhile israelis bombardment of the gaza Strip continues as Alarm grows over a potential ground offense into Rafah, where about some 1.5 million Palestinians are sheltered. 26 EU countries have issued a warning against Israel offense in Rafah, saying it will only deepen the humanitarian catastrophic there. The Western Asia looks set for a path of escalations on multiple fronts as Israeli forces close in what it is left of southern Gaza as Yemen, Yemen's Houthi rebels launch their most dangerous strike yet on a ship in the Red Sea. The crew of the, the British-owned Belize flag bulk carrier NV Bulk Ruby Ma was forced into a abandoned ship in the Gulf of Aden on Monday receiving help from a nearby merchant vessel in a coalition warship to reach a nearby port after uh, two anti-ship ballistic missiles was launched from the Iranian-backed Houthi group control areas of Yemen, according to the U.S. Central Command. Houthi's militant spokesperson claimed the group's responsibility for the attack, calling it the most severe yet. The group's claim to support Palestinian civilians amending Israel retaliatory military campaign in the Gaza Strip. The ship was severely damaged, leading it is completely halt. It is now at at risk of sinking in the Gulf of Eden, the Shari said Monday. Simultaneously, fighting is raging between Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip with no sign of abating, despite diplomatic efforts by the number of countries. Israel government has warned of a potential ground invasion of Rafah, Gaza's southern corner, along with the Egyptian border, where more than 1.5 million Palestinians, the majority of whom were displayed other parts of Gaza, are sheltering mostly to makeshift tents with very little access to food, water, and medication. This is uh, the Prophet Joel. Three and verse nine. Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. The Prophet Joel, thing verse ten. And it reads: Meet your plowshares and the swords and the pruning hooks and the spears and let the weak say I am strong. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying of the increasing rise in tensions over there in the Red Sea between both sides, the United States Army and the coalition of Great Britain and the Israeli Defense Force going against the uh, Iranian-backed Houthi rebels. As it says again, Western Asia escalations fears spike as Houthis launch most dangerous attack yet. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying like I mentioned again. begin. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Akar Kadash. In the Heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Ba'ashem, in the name of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. 
those are their true names in the ancient paleo hebrew the last one could ask the whole tongue and much love and respect to the uh, elders for again with aqua until next time i will say shalom